Welcome along everybody to a groundbreaking day. We have for the first time ever a race in FJ, MMS's take on Formula 2. We have equal cars, we have an awful lot of new drivers, but as always, we ha always have the same kind of drama. As with first races in a spec series, nobody quite knows what to expect. And as we've learned with MMS's normal series, qualifying can never be fully trusted. Today we are at the Bahrain International Circuit, located in the deserts of one of the world's smallest countries. Designed by Herman Tilke and opened in March 2004, it's a 5.4 km circuit with 15 corners that winds its way through the desert, consisting of the ultra-difficult corners of turns 9 and 10, a downhill complex where drivers have to balance between turning and braking, doing both at the same time results in a lock-up. Without further ado, on this lovely sunny day, let's get down to the grid. Uh, yes, let's get to the gra uh, to the grid. So on pole position we have Jean Leblanc doing an amazing lap for the MP Motorsports team. The Frenchman really put a lot of hard work. Then we have Einar Arens in P2. Great lap from the second Est no first ever Estonian in FJ's history. Then the rest of the grid we have <laughs> Giovanni Picodella Mirandola, the longest name I have ever pronounced. Mondragon, Long, L Clerk, Graden, too good. A 15-year-old in a open-wheeled car, that's something important. Jing, Tommaso, Herbut, Atkinson, Thomas, Valcino, Tunde, Motidini, Viva, Waltrip, Ferraz, Schaeffer, Bishop, Bivona, Regis, Fascia, Granville, and Eva Valiak, another 15-year-old, rounds off the grid. I think with that done, let's get to the five red lights. There we go. Uh, Daniel... Nice work on the grid as always. All right, here come the lights then. When they go out for it, the FJ series will be underway for the very first time, and it is underway and now. It and it's, it looks like a good start from the man on pole, and he has he's, he's already in the clear, but it looks like Aaron's is under pressure from the car behind him, and he's actually lost a place going into the first corner, but dives down the inside of oh. Blanc and takes the lead, as there's contact in the back a little bit there. Almost a car spinning around, and they're going three wide on the exit of turn two, onto turn three, and now onto the straight towards turn four. We have a new leader in Aaron's, and it looks like Mondragon has settled into turn two, and Long has taken to P3. So where has Blanc gone? He's down to seventh place already. It's a terrible start from the man who qualified on pole position, but now into sector two for the first time. A couple of cars running wide, almost a spin there from uh, Xing in the background, and now into turn oh, eight. And there's back. contact. There's contact there. And uh, that's, uh, that's Ferraz spun out. But I was. I, oh, he's already lost his front wing here. Look, uh, yeah, this is what you were talking about in turn one. He's just run into the back of Viva. No, he was pushed on the back. Or pushed. Oh, yep. Sorry, my Bishop. bad. He's pushed by Ethan Bishop. <sighs> but I was looking. I was looking at contact between Too Good there at turn uh, turn eight, yeah, so which is where Ferrez had a spin. So I presume he's probably been tagged again here. He's still got a. He's still got a couple cars behind him. Yeah, Fasha, Regis. Uh, I mean, Fasha, terrible qualifying. Oh, oh. That's Fasha, di so. Fasha dives in, oh, and then on his rejoin. And He's been yeah, hit there yeah, on his that's, that's just a poor rejoin for Ferraz. I mean, what can he do with other front wing, you know? Yeah, yeah but then he's going to he's gonna spin right to the back of the field now. And that's going to be under investigation, I bet. We also had yeah, Atkinson oh, going into the corner yeah, who spun Atkinson. around. Uh, so Atkinson dives it onto Herbert, mis misjudges it. Herbert has nowhere to go, they clip. I don't think that's Herbert's fault, no. He was no. going to run out of road. Yeah, and that's Atkinson's race pretty much over. Right, but anyway, back to the drama. Aaron's we see the two leaders long. here. Long is up the inside at turn 10, and you don't often see an overtake there, and on the exit they're pretty much uh, side by side. I think Clerk is going to have the traction on that one, though, uh, to pull ahead as they no. get into turn 11, and he does have the traction on yeah. him going oh, into the long, corner. Oh, he's gone wide. Long goes really wide, and here comes Clerk sniffing an opportunity up the inside, but now he's on the outside for this next corner at turn 12. Now into turn 13, it's a long corner, and they almost make contact there. The front wing of Clark almost making contact with Long's rear tyre, which would have probably uh, resulted in the puncture. Here comes Pico de la Mirandola now. The driver with the longest name in the history of MMS. He's up the inside at turn 14 and 15. Does he pull it off? Not quite. They're still yet. side by side on the exit. Who's going to have the traction on this one? Remember, these cars are completely equal. It's a spec series. 
Just well, like you know what, Aaron's trying to get that P1. Mondragon's got it. Mondragon's got the dragon on Ar has got the traction on Aaron's here. Aaron's faces uh, back up the inside though, and now they're going to be side by side on the exit of that corner. As our clerk can pick up the lever under that. Wide moment for turn one. Jeez. And look at this train of cars. That's about fifteen cars within almost a second of each other. Look at this, this and it's being. And it's all being spearheaded by Too Good, the 15-year-old driver. And look at this, we've got Babatundi making a move on Ching here in the middle of the track, and he's pulled a double overtake there on Tommaso and Ching. Brilliant move for the Nigerian driver. He's up to ninth place, and Ching has just made contact with another car, and they still bang wheels Walter, on the exit of the corner. Very aggressive, Walter, how have those guys both escaped with front wheels? There was another car sideways There's going into the corner there. Uh, there was another car, way. it's Granville, who's got a problem. I saw his car go sideways, but look how many cars there are here. It's bound to be incidents. We're seeing a lot of cars making contact with each other, hitting each other, but not really for any proper spins. This is the first one we've seen, really, from this pack. That's so... Let's see it on again. I'm gonna cut away from here. I was raising the volume for our factor up. As well, so let's see what happens. Is it just misjudgment? No, no I think it's a, you got to push there 100%. Divona. You got to push. Divona. It's a David for the Italian driver, Agatino. What did you? Oh man. Yeah, Granville's been punted there. Sandwich in between Fashion and Brandon. That's, that's going to be under investigation. Fashion in Russian time and punted from behind. Anyway, Mondragon did manage to take the lead, and now we still have Clerk, Clerk and Long are really going for it. No, no love lost between these two, we can clearly see that. Is Long going to go wide to the corner this time? No, he holds his ground nicely and holds on to third place, which is, a, of course, a podium spot. Remember, there is a, this is the feature race. There is also a sprint race, which had a completely separate qualifying session. Yeah, the spring race uh, rules its own. Future race, it's about 25 minutes. We have one pit, one mandatory pit stop that the drivers have to make. Uh, and uh, basically, it's longer. It's testing the driver's skills, and they have the sprint race, which is seven laps shorter than the feature race. And there is no mandatory pit stops. It's just a sprint for victory. And the point scoring positions are reduced to top eight. Meanwhile, Long pulls the here come, inside. Here comes Long on Aaron's, indeed, as you said. Well spotted, and Long has taken second place for the moment. Can he hang on around the outside? With better traction, but he gets squeezed a bit on the curbing. Still side by side up towards turn four, which, in my opinion, one of the uh, one of the best corners on this circuit. This is where Hamilton pushed Rosberg off multiple times. Twenty fourteen is Long going to push Aaron's off? No, he leaves in space, and Aaron says, oh, "Thank you very look much." At, look at, I think he had a drop. Throttle issue uh, because now we have the oh, clerk's been wide. pushed oh. off the track. They make contact as clerk rejoins and takes the position back. What did he take it off and the circuit? Blank. Here comes Blanc. Here comes Blanc. Oh. He's overtaken both cars in one and corner. Sandra Gradin as well, the Swedish driver from Hil Hilmar Motorsports. So Blanc has oh, Gradin knows he's run wide there at turn nine and pick with the Mirandola has gone up the inside of Gradin. Sorry, Long, not Gradin. It's all kicking off here now. They're side by side, the two teammates. And Blanc has he's had a terrible start. He dropped down to about seventh. He's back up into fourth place now, and he's showing pace as to how he got pole position. I think he could go and win this race, you know. I mean, yeah, there's also pit stops, and he can get in time there. So nothing lost for the Frenchman. There's Corey Thomas, he was my pick uh, for the winner in this race, but I don't think that will happen. No, he's a bit too far back, I think. Meanwhile, Waltrip's got a run. A lot of cars have a run on each other here, Clark. including Clerk on Errands. This is for second place. It's Gradin. There are Gradin's up the moves. inside of the hill. In the hill, my motorsports car. We don't often see too many overtakes in turn 14 flag. Yellow here. Flag. Oh, oh that's a front wing gone. Oh, that's come on. on. It's on Thomas, it's just as you said, it. he's probably running to the back of Herbert here. Ah, uh, man. Commentators curse. Down the hill, under the gantry, into turn 14. Oh, yeah, oh, he's got a huge oh, pun. And then Chauffeur. Are you kidding me? Check if, Sh check if Chauffeur got a punt from behind. Oh, no, no, no that, that, that looks look like... Look at the gearing, he just missed it. Missed that looks it. like a complete driver error, yeah. And he's taken himself and Thomas, Thomas out of this race. That's such a silly mistake. Come on, lad. Oh, there's one more car off. Oh dear, and it's Bivona. Oh, it's Bivona, and he's lo and uh, that's a is real wing. Is it Fasher? It's Fasher. It is oh, Fasher. Fasher. He has such a track record at these kind of things. 
As much as I love him for his aggression, he needs to know when to But look start. at the front straight, it's absolute chaos, so many cars going for moves. There's a double dive bomb Tomazo. there from Tommaso. Tun Tunde's in that as well, Tunde's picked up a place. Pico de la Miranda has lost a place to Samuel Granit and all of this as well. Sandra, and there's absolute... Sandra. Sorry, what? Sandra Granit, oh, uh, anyways. my bad, yeah. Zhiqing now tries to make a move. Tommaso makes a mistake. Too good. Uh, gets ahead of the Italian driver. Ching and Tunde still side by side going into this corner. Ching oh, trying to make a move on the Nigerian. Oh, Tunde runs wide. Tunde overtakes again. Again, marginally off the circuit. There Seems to be. Montadini is on Herbert up the inside here. Look at Valcino here looking to take advantage. These guys are still side by side. But now valcino has got the inside on Montadini. If Montadini runs wide, no, he holds no, his ground Bishop, nicely. Though, and in fact, back. it's it's actually Ethan Bishop who goes up the inside of Valcino, so c playing the Uno reverse card there, on from my commentary. And now back on the straight here, we've got to move. Ethan Bishop trying to go up the inside on Valcino. Oh, He's too far so back, sad, surely. Though. He's too far back, yeah, he is. And he doesn't go for it. Wise decision you know, from him. Xixing defending from Waltrip. Xixing's lost the place to Babatunde, and now Waltrip and Long are very close to each other here. Jin gets a great run out of the corner, in fact, though. And now look at Tunde on the back look of Tobazo. Straight. Tunde's on the back of Tobazo. We've seen a lot of crashes in this corner, though. And he, he's nudging him into the corner. Walter and now Bishop's Walter up the Walter inside Walter. of Valtino. Walter, Walter. Ethan, Bishop. <laughs> Ethan Bishop is side by side. They're going to go three abreast, actually, in the background there, because look who's Kenny joined the Viva. battle here. Bieber has joined the battle and he's first on the inside but he's also the furthest behind so he's going to have to be latest on the brakes who's it going to be into the corner who's the last of the late breakers it's Bieber on the inside they're three wide and Bieber picks up it's two places in one wide. corner and now look here at uh is that Regis trying to make a move yeah as Bishop is. runs wide it was Regis and, and he's also picked well, up two yeah. places and now here comes Eva Valjak who's also looking for a free two positions and is she going to take them not Still quite. side by side. I, don't th I think Bishop might have the legs on this one. He's forced a bit wide, but as you've seen, he comes back onto the circuit and he is ahead. But Valjak still gets one place from Valcino, who's Valcino, lost about. <laughs> Valcino. Croatian war begins. He's looking to get more places, as I think he's lost about six or seven in the space of half a lap. He's oh, on the outside. Oh, oh there's contact there! That's, that's Regis, Regis. Big, big contact, uh, Regis has lost his front wing and there was a car sent spinning. That was, that was Bishop. So Bishop so, takes Regis into uh, turn 8, I think. Now into turn, oh man. Oh dear. I think Regis, Regis might have actually got a punt going into the corner because he looked no. all out of shape. No, oh, no. So I mean, he's all out of shape, he's on the curb. He's all out of shape going into the corner, he's already correcting the car before it's even started braking. That's unfortunate for those two. On lap 5 of 15, Mortadini and Herbert are side by side. This oh, race that's not been short. Mortadini. This race has not been short of action whatsoever. The Russian time car on the outside of the Arden, and he's not going to quite get past. No, no, never mind. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really focused. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's quite early for us, so pardon. Gradin is Sam, uh, Sandra Gradin is looking uh, very aggressive on the, on the uh, Italian car ahead of her. And I mean, on the exit of the corner. The Granon family is sort of known for uh, being quite aggressive. Look, I mean, look at Mondragon. Mondragon's just taken off. I mean, this is what happens in spec series when, you're ha when you have clean air. Here comes Aaron's on Blanc up the inside, and he gets past just about. But here comes Blanc with the better traction, and he retakes third place. But now the MP Motorsport car is going to be... Uh, very vulnerable because Aaron slots into the slipstream. They get to about the 100 meter board. It's roughly where you're going to start thinking of braking. And he goes up the inside. They make contact again. And again, Blanc holds onto the place. Onto third place. Oh, and Aaron's. Oh, Aaron's has gone wide. That's an unf that is a big unforced error from him. He's lost to these guys here. For example, Pico de la Morandola. Oh, oh, oh that's, a, that's, that's big contact. Mind. That's Sandra Gradin and wide. And I think, was that a rear wing gone no, as well? I don't know. Or just the... Uh, Mirandola, I think. Yeah, what oh, he's man. come from so far back. What is he doing? That is really unforced, and that's really uh, not the greatest exhibition of driving. And that's completely ruined both of their races. I mean, at least she tries to avoid him at one point. You see, this is what happens. You overheat the brakes, and then there is no coming back. There is a lot of overheating brakes on this track. It's a very hot climate, remember?
Yeah, I mean, we're literally on a desert. Ridiculous, yeah, Ridic that was a ridiculous yeah. move though, like, at least try and avoid the car, but no, steered straight into the rear wing of the Italian, that's oh, yeah. destroyed both their races. So both Helmers have now lost their, both have the, now lost their front uh, wings. Academy and here's Ji Xing, Ji Xing making a move on the inside of two cars, taking advantage of the racing line being and slower, Waltrip and Waltrip has now lost the front wing. What's happened here? They're going all the way back to turn one, I think. Yep, turn one. Yeah, misjudged the braking. I mean, it's, it's the same group, and he's gone in too deep. I mean, in the dams, oh, and has lost the front wing. Granville passes him. Valiak not yet. Oh dear. Valiak will pass him though. So here we got an awful lot of cars here without front wings and rear wings. It's really turning into a race of attrition here. Tomas now trying to catch Jishing, uh, but it's not going to work as he has now, Peter Long on the back. Long trying to go around the outside and, and does well to be fair and gets really good traction out the corner and is now in the slipstream of uh, Xing on the on the straight as into the pits comes Della Miranda and now there's a move for third there's a battle for third place Aaron's is trying to get into third place here as Clerk has lost a place to Blanc which we missed on the cameras and Aaron's has taken third place so Clerk has fallen down to fourth in the space of a few laps and now Blanc can go searching after Mondragon. I mean, the yeah. lead, I mean, which Dragon he started the race with. A bit of pace at the moment, so there's that. Jing going Jing defensive. Defense goes defensive. Save. I don't think that's going to quite work for him. I mean, he will have the ins. Okay, never mind. No, he's a car. He's a car ahead. I think. Yeah, well defended from Shing. But he does Long. lose a little bit of time going lose defensive because it's not the optimal racing line. Tomaso now almost runs to the back of Long, but doesn't. Trying to pass the Trident car here. As they go up the hill towards turn nine, now it suddenly dips downhill. You gotta go with, you gotta balance between turning and braking, and he's going up the inside. Baba Tunde is always losing a place to uh, Xi Jing here. Double vision, you could say. Seeing... Tunde on the outside, Xing on the inside, Long on the outside, Tomazo on the inside, and the guys on the outside here have prevailed, at least in Tunde's case. Long has the inside for the next corner, though, which is a really long one, but it's almost flat out. Tomaso and Tomazo is going to hold it around the outside just about, but no, Long's got ahead and is now threatening Xing in the slipstream of him. Really close racing. Really close racing, and I mean. We've seen these guys battle away, but they're still not, they've fallen far off the top four, but these guys, if they keep battling like this, they'll stay in their own representative and group. Aaron's and that's a car in the pits. pits. It's Aaron's has opened Mandatory the pit still. window. He's yeah. opened the pit window quite early on here. Black and he's the, first of the, he's the first of the front runners to come into the pits. And the only man so far to come into the pits. How is the pit stop? He's up on his jacks. Granville is also in. He's down on his jacks and it's quite lengthy, 7.9 seconds, really takes his time in getting out of the box. Yeah, that's because the power uh, on these cars, like power delivery, is not the best. Mondragon is pitting this lap. Mondragon is 4.2 seconds ahead of Blanc. Right, write that down before the pit stop phase. Lurk is pitting, Zixing is pitting, Tommaso is pitting, Herbert is pitting. Well, Herbert's trying to make a move on his teammate here. As he got overtaken, but I mean, it's, it, Herbert is in a very good position. Both of the Arden, car, Arden cars are... They're both running in the points, yeah. yeah oh, but as you said, that Herbert has a re he breaks really early. Not like he had a snap of Obistry on the exit of Turn 7, because here comes uh, Weber, and also... In the background, uh, Mortadini is also oh, thinking yeah. of a move, and as I say that, they make contact. Mortadini in the Russian time making contact with Viber. I think Viber is going to hold on to this one with the traction that he has on the exit of the corner. We've seen the outside line. There's a bit more traction on the outside, yeah. and yes, Viber is ahead going into the corner. Atkinson on the outside tries to source out a move, but no. Mortadini in the fence like a champ. Atkinson, I mean, she got punted away at the start, but she's making a nice recovery drive into P13. Avoiding the advantage, yeah. so let's go. So, let's Drive see the drivers coming. The race leader comes into the pits and Blanc stays out, I believe. Yeah, as you, he is. He's as you said. Out. So let's see the pit stop for Mondragon. Ideally you're looking for about six seconds, I think six seven six seconds. Definitely not seven point nine. Onto his jacks. Mind you, he also avoided any minor damage, so dropped after oh he's having to wait oh, a little God. bit. 9.3, quite stop. long. McLaren-esque pit stop indeed. You can see in the background a couple of cars being oh, released. A bit of a held up there. You see, with the power delivery, he stops cars, in the pit box. stops are very messy. 
And then the spec series pit stops mean so much. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's the front wing gone. It's on another damn's car. It's it's again. I don't think Bishop pitted for a front wing change because. Oh, is he not pitted? I mean, it might have been a drive through. Who knows? But I don't know. Well, he was pulling away from this car here, so I think it's happened with this group here, all the way back. Oh yeah, turn one. Uh, turn one. Again. Yeah. And he's running to the back of another car again. And so Dam's having to change the front wing again. I mean, this is gonna kind of benefit Bishop because this is the pit window. The only thing they will lose is on uh, the front wing change. Yeah, and, the and also the fact he has to drive the lap without the front yeah. wing too. And the whole pack here is spitting long onto Tunde. Remember, Blong has pitted Long goes up the inside. I thought those guys were going to spin there, but well uh, held by Tunde. Long is still looking aggressive though and looking for them to make a nice move here. Is Long going to go up the inside? No, uh, he's dropped really far back. I mean, he has what to save the tires, he has to save everything, so yeah. But look at the gap. Mondragon is P10, and if you look on the minimap, I believe Mondragon's already but just saying, the lead. Blanc hasn't pitted. He was with those two guys. Tunde... Oh, sorry, it was too good. It was... I, th I thought... Oh, no, it was too good. Sorry, my bad. It wasn't Blanc. It was too good. Too good, Tunde and Long are still closer. So here come those guys. Tunde in uh, third place. I don't think it's effective third place, but he's in third place. Uh, Long in fourth, and Valcina, the Italian, in fifth. And here he goes to the inside. You can tell... Sorry. <laughs> Serbian... He's got an Italian surname though, and he's going up the inside into turn four, uh, turn 14, not quite. He backs out of it sensibly because he's going to be coming into the pits this lap. Too good comes in, Tunde comes in, Long comes in, Falcino also comes in. Everyone is pitting now. Just over half distance here. And who's going to have the better pit stop here? Blanc is down on his jacks rather quickly. Jacks, but he's going to get help. But he, so oh, he has much. to wait. Look how much he has to wait. This is the advantage of being at the front of the pit. You don't have to. You don't have to wait for as many cars. And too good. Oh, too no. good. Is, oh, contact in the pits. Normally, you want to be at the end of the pits, but too good was at the front, and in that case, of all the cars, at the timing they came in, it came out good for him. And look how close he is to Blanc now. He's right in this battle, but they've come out in fourth and fifth. Laura too good, trying her best, but it's not gonna work now. Mondragon, Mondragon is said. still Mondragon is a whole straight between turn three and four ahead. Clark and Aaron's have got a bit of a jump here on Blanc. They were behind him. Blanc was, I think, four point two seconds when the pit stop opened. Here comes too good. Mondragon's teammate, I believe, trying to make a move, and it's not quite phased out there. Ching and Thomas are close to each other here. As Balatunde, Valcino side by side, battling for the Valcino and Atkinson. Yeah. Valcino is going to be pushed wide, keeps it on the road. Atkinson now holds on around the outside and going into the next corner. Who's going to prevail here? Is it going to be the Arden or is it going to be Atkinson? It's the Arden who prevails around the outside. Now, Gradin will try and overtake the Rat Packs driven by uh, the female Japanese driver. There goes Granville up the inside. Oh, it actually, works. It actually got a hit despite the contact. Okay, looking down the yonder. Oh, oh Herbert's retired. Oh. oh no. That's a big crash between one of the Hilmers and Herbert. I think that's Regis. Let's uh, no, uh, yeah, see. It's it is Regis. Uh, he, he misjudged the braking, and in this case, oh, both of them retiring. Uh, uh, if you call this, I mean, yeah, that's a huge. Ouch. Huge contact on the rear uh, wing. Uh, reminded me of the MMS season four. Uh, a bar range situation. You, there are going to be some talks at the Hilmer and, garage because they have Michelle not been driving. Out. And also a fire front wheel. So we've missed a lot with these pit windows here. I mean, we've been we've been infested with the pit windows and with the amazing battles on the circuit. It's hard to focus on everything, but. Fashion. Oh, this is a long way back. You could even. This is actually before the cars were coming in. Look at this. They're still on their yeah. jacks there in the corner. This is a long way back. Yeah. I mean, this is good we even spotted it at this stage. Must have been a huge impact, though. I suppose he might have slammed into somebody's, uh, somebody's car, but. We'll see. Oh, oh. No. Oh. oh, no. He's crashed at turn 8. I think that was the brake failure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
both Walter Oh, and look at that. Waltrip ran wide as well, but he managed to get the car turned. And he spun out. Wow. So that would be why Chauffeur got ahead of Pico Della uh, Mirandola there. Yeah. Whoa. That's that's a big one. Meanwhile, Unreal. I'm in the Granville now. That's still going at it. That. But let's let's uh, see because the pit winners now open. I think we go through the let's go through the winners and losers. So obviously, uh, Blanc is one of the losers, of course, because he was held up yeah. and he lost two places. Uh, I think uh, Ching and Tunde both lost out. They were running in like sixth and seventh. They're now ninth and tenth, I believe, uh, just ahead of these guys that we're watching here. Oh, 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 oh Granville lost wide off. goes Granville, and he's lost a place to Atkinson. So these brakes really heating up due to the temperature now. Corey Thomas. Look at too good. Look at too good as well. He saw him in the ground a bit. There he's on the Clark inside. As wide Clark. goes Clark. Here goes Thomas on the inside of Ching, and doesn't quite. Uh, sorry, Thomas gets past Ching. Is not able to hold on to the position. In the background, nothing really happening. Apart from Valtteri and Atkinson going side by side, and here's Montagnini and Gradin. This is for the minor added. placings. It's also for bragging rights. This and Gradin. Gradin has got uh, the position. Waltrip and Piccadilla. Waltrip is just about going to hold on to that one. I think he's got the turn four. The only American in the series trying to prove himself. Waltrip on the inside. Waltrip oh, holding the position. It's because Hirondel has a hallful corner. Yeah, but yeah, back the to these guys. So I believe who gets points? Is it the top ten get uh, it's points? The top ten for the feature, top eight for uh, top ten. So Tunde is currently rounding out the points. Too good, and Blanc is still so close. Blanc is, Blanc's pace has vanished. The pace that we saw where he went from seventh to second in the first stint, it has completely vanished. Oh, and, oh no! Too good's lost the front wing. Oh dear, Laura. Too good. She was doing so well this race. And the 15 year old away. has thrown it away from fifth place you can't and it was gonna be it was gonna be that teams they were in the they were both cars in the top five and now Tuga's gonna have to pit and careful not to swipe Tomazo here almost swiped into Tomazo coming into the pits but that's a real shame for her she yeah. was driving so well you can't blame that one on adolescence can you I mean, yeah, but I mean, it's the car from behind fault at the end who misjudged the, oh it. Oh dear, not enough fuel for Thomas. Oh, is that some other damage from the... No, 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 it's... From, uh, he could have been dam... He lost his front wing and he... It's not enough, they would... And that oh yeah, of yeah. course. And of course, some of these guys have lost their front wings, yeah. Yeah, so they still have to make one more stop as there's a car in the pits. That's uh, the person who probably lost the front yeah, wing. Yeah, that was... But no, or it could have been. Actually, no, it couldn't have been uh, too good because she'd probably been released yeah. by now. Tommaso and Ching are still really close. These guys are completely inseparable. As Tunde's catching up to the back of Long in the in the background there. Tommaso I mean, going Tommaso into turn nine and ten. A great job. I've been I've been impressed as to how few lockouts we've seen. Look at that for an exit. Tommaso. Where did that come from? And Long as and Long and Tunde as well. So Ching and Thomas have bogged each other down. And Tomas is now on the inside, Ooh, and he fancies a lunge on Ching, as well. and he gets past. Tomas has got past Ching. Lovely overtake from Tomas going into the turn eleven. It's very difficult to overtake there because it's a really long corner. Back at Tomaso. it's not over, says the Chinese driver. Ching fancies it on the inside. Tomaso still there? No, he's in the slipstream. He's behind. And now he's got uh, Pedro Long and Baba Tun. Sorry, not up uh, Pet. He's got Long. Yeah, Peter Long behind him and Baba Tunde as well. Ching and Tomaso were so close. There's a car pitting. Yeah, that's that's, that's Thomas. Thomas. So these guys are all promoted in one position. Here's, Here's Blanc, Blanc making a move on Clark. You said his pace is gone. I wouldn't say so. I'm or is sure. it? Or Blanc. is it Clark's pace is gone? Either way, Blanc has take third place. And there is Long on to Ching now. Ching will oh, hit oh, Ching, a Tunde on Tommaso. It's all so close here. Tommaso Tunde holding off the other. outside. This is epic racing at turn one here. And now into turn four. Ji Xing is leading this group. Tommaso has held the position on Tunde with only a few laps to go in this race. We've only got two more after this one. And Long is looking desperate to get past Ji Xing here. So is Tommaso. And now we have Valcino, Atkinson, Granville, and Valiak 
all will catch that, up to this. Uh, that's the problem with doing so much battling. You're losing so much time, and we've got a huge, we've got the potential for an absolutely enormous train, as you said, to be forming here as Tomasa takes a really, uh, well, it looked pretty, uh, pretty poor, but it's actually worked out quite well for him. It was quite a tight line at turn 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check where did Tomasa start. Tomasa started P10, started, so... Started in 10th place, so he's currently running in 7th. I mean, that's some sort of gain, you have to know. Meanwhile, there's Valcino on the Tunde. Valcino on the Nigerian Tunde. Wait. Tunde holds on to it, I think. Is he a car length ahead? No, not quite. He's only just... Valcino's only just got his car in... And he's on the inside. There's a move from Long on Jixing into the last corner. Here's a move from Valcino on Baba Tunde at the last corner. And it actually looks like it might work out here. But as there's a move from Clark. Sorry, not Clark. Uh, that's a move from Blanc uh, on Aaron's. That's our second place. But we're currently looking at Tunde and Valcino. This is the battle for eighth position. And Atkinson's in this as well. As this contact up ahead. Valcino and Tunde still side by side. Tunde has got the measure on him. And Tunde holds on for eighth place. As there was contact between Tommaso and Ching going into turn one. And also Blanc was making a move on Aaron's in turn one. And I think he might have pulled it off. And there's now Atkinson onto Valcino. Uh, sorry to just uh, get back there. I had my mail delivered now. But look at Valjak. Okay. They're on Valjak has onto Valcino. The correct Ava Valjak onto the Serbian. Ava Valjak is trying for points here. This is for points position. Valcino is holding down the final uh, tenth position. There. They make contact. Valjak kind of pushes Valcino wide. Valcino is not having any of that though. As his Atkinson now making a move on Tunde Rally and getting past. Well. That is an incredible move around the outside of turn nine and ten. Fantastic. Meanwhile, Blanc As and Aaron's Blanc for P2. Didn't get, he didn't get past Aaron's initially, but he's got past him now with just one lap to go after this one. I think it's safe to say Mondragon's going to win this one. He's dominated the race from start to finish. Uh, he's only not yeah. led one lap, and that was in the pit phase. But the battle for second is very much not over. Long, I think, has got fifth bolted down. Yeah, I mean, Long is now pulling away from the back because he's in clean air. He's not in a battle. He's just capitalizing on everything now. Tomasa trying to pull away from Gigi, not uh, succeeding in that so far. Mortidini in absolute free land. Uh, Viba is pitting because he lost the front wing. Oh, oh goodness. goodness. Another one. Gracious, another is one. this going to be with. Uh... Yeah, it's because. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, Leave that's, that's a twist. Mind. Is it a turn one? Oh, 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 oh goodness me. Up. He locked up big time, Jesus. Huge lock up there. The car's just not stopping, and he's into the wall. He was very lucky to not lose a wheel there. He's lucky that his wheels are still on, indeed. One dragon on the final lap. Now, instead of the warning, we just... Oh, look at this. Flag. We've got Tommaso and Ching here. We've got Atkinson, and we've got Tunde as well. They're side by side on the exit still. Ching on the inside. Tommaso's trying to hang on in there, but he can't do it. Because Ching has got... Cool run as well. Tunde tried to make a move on, on the exit. I think Atkinson move. might be the one to get a move here on Tommaso. He is. He's inside at turn four. Tunde's trying to go the inside at turn four as well. But Tommaso with a great run on the outside as Atkinson had a poor run and compromised Tunde. They're still side by side. Tommaso and Atkinson still side by side into turn eight. Tunde. And they're the still back. going for it. And it's Tunde. Three it's three wide. This can't work. This just cannot work into yeah, turn nine contact. and ten. They're already making contact, trying to sort each other out here. Atkinson Tunde somehow. Switch back down there. Somehow Atkinson, Tomazo, and Tunde hold their front and rear wings, but they're still side by side on the exit here. Now into the left-hander, that would change into a right-hander. Atkinson on the outside, it's still... It didn't it's work not worked her. out. She's look at, look at Tunde. It. Look at Tunde. Tunde. on the outside. What is the Nigerian on her doing here? We might need to look at the front here because Mondragon is about to cross the line. Here he comes. He's going to make history. Mondragon, who's dominated this race, becomes the first man ever to win an FJ race. Congratulations to him. He wins by a whopping 10 and seconds. Aaron's makes a move on Blanc on the final corner of the final. Aaron's is just to going to hold on to second place as Blanc, the pole man, holds on to third. This is the very final corner. Talk about leaving it to the last moment. Down the inside at turn 14 and 15. And he got the traction. I mean, that's so well done drive. to him. We well done to him.
Clark Long. And who, look in the background, on who's gonna... Side. It's gonna be Atkinson who takes seventh place away from Tomaso. Those guys were inseparable on the last lap. And Tunde just behind them in ninth. Val, uh, Valcino holds on to tenth. Ava Valiak just missing out on points from the back of the group. 12, Mortidini 13th, Gradin 14th, Waltrip 15th. Bishop 16th, Piccadilla 17th, Thomas 18th, very... I mean, he still climbed up the ladder despite the damage. Laura too good. One mistake. Disappointing. Mick Sheffer, I have no words for this man. No, I have no words for Isaac for sure, to be honest. Calls two incidents and then crashed out himself. I mean, yeah, too much damage. The brakes couldn't hold it as well. So, of the 27 uh, cars, we lost four of them. 23 still made it to the flag. Decent showing for the first race as Ferraz rounds out the order. Well, that was pretty damn hectic. And now uh, it's on to the sprint race. Yeah, so I'm just going so, to slowly... Andrew control. Andrew Mondragon could not have started the season better. I mean, yeah. Oh, I didn't check who got the fastest lap. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. It's probably Mondragon. Yeah, it is Mondragon, let's be honest. I mean, it actually but highlights yeah. the fastest lap, so it's more. Who was your driver of the day? Driver of the race. Of the race, even, because we still have a race to go today. Yeah, but <laughs> of the race, then. I mean, uh, I, will, I will pop up the, uh, the grid order, and looking at, I don't know, who climbed up the most positions, who did what. Bab it's going to be Baba Tunde, in a way. Uh, I mean, Tunde did climb up sixth place, but I mean... Mondragon, yeah, epic I mean, star, epic drive. I think it's got to be Mondragon. Yeah, and also you know to dominate in a spec car series, it, it, it's something you can brag about. You know, so in terms of coming from the back of the field, uh, well, Ava Val went up fifteen places. Yeah, and so Mondragon. she's a shout. I'm still gonna stick with Mondragon though. Yeah. Okay, so now you guys will go deaf and you will not see anything for a while. So just uh, enjoy the black screen. We're going to be back very shortly for the sprint race. Right back. Do I need to do an intro other than just welcome to race two? Okay. Right, welcome back. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been it's been short here. No, they too long. Here we go. Uh, split race. So the grid, uh, so it's sadly not reverse top eight because air factor. So let's just get to the grid for the sprint race. Giovanni Pico della Mirandola gets it on P1, Fash onto P2, Zebe P3, Jink P4, Clerk P5, Granen P6, Ferras P7, Tunde P8, Toma, uh, Tommaso P9, Thomas P10, Mondragon 11th, Aronson 12th, Sheffern 13th, Montedini 14th, Atkinson 15th, 16th is Bishop, 17th is Gran Granville, 
uh, too good. 18th, 19th is Balnac, 20th is Waltrip, 21st is Long, 22nd is Valcino, 23rd is Blanc, 24th is Pivona, 25th is Regis, and 26th is Herbert. Um, and he rounds off the grid. So now let's go to the five red lights. Here we go. Here they come. Here come the five lights for the second time in Bahrain. Lights out on the way we go. It looks like a good start from uh, Milan. I think Fashio has got a good start. Fashio has got a really good start here going into turn one and also. Uh, Ching making a really good start and looking really aggressive into turn one. There goes Fashio up the inside. Just no like Mondragon did. And Fasha and Pico de Lamiranda are still side by side on the exit here, but it looks like Fasha's got the edge on him and he has. Fasha's taken the lead of the race from Pico de la Miranda. So both races, the uh, race leader has not hung on to it. And now here comes Viva. Pico de la Miranda and Viva, absolutely mad scenes from the German Aggress driver. Aggressive move there from Viva. He's still side by side with Fasha going into the sector two now. Fasha runs wide. They bang wheels uh, many, many times. And now Viva's got the oh, inside line going into turn eight. There's a car running really wide there. One of the Carlins uh, very wide there. I think that and was Aaron's in the oh Carlin. Dear, look, look at the look at the rejoin fashion. God, that's horrible. Xi Qing now will make a move into turn ten. Brad and also oh, there's oh, they contact. make a huge amount of contact there, and he's also trying to get past Fasha here. Xi Qing as uh, Gradin, she lost out big time there, and she's under pressure now uh, from Cluck behind. But intense stuff already at the start of the race here. Clerk's up the inside as well as Fasher's on the outside oh, of Ching. A lot of smoke there. That's a front wing oh. gone. And it's Andrew Mo this is the, race the race winner. winner. The race winner from the feature race. He's already climbed a few places. But as he's trying to get oh. past Ferris, he looks like he's been pushed, has he? Or he's just, oh, it looks oh, like he's looking, looking at his gear sink. Yeah, he missed the braking. That's both their races destroyed. Remember, there is no mandatory pit stop in a sprint race. So... If you lose, if you lose your bodywork, you you've lost out big time. Yes, yeah, so look at the Aaron's look at the chaos here. Aaron's with some supreme car control to hold that, and also the car he rammed into as was and Martin, also, and he was, was getting to excited avoid. too. Gives the position back to Tommaso as well, so that's some gentleman driving. Tommaso and Aaron's with some supreme car control, and, then and they were three wide. Oh my God. Man. That, these, right. these first laps have been chaotic, as, to say the least. And now Mondragon is holding a huge... Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, look at, that's oh, nice. look at that, my word. And now we've got an enormous train of cars. We've got Long, who finished in the top five last race. We've got Chauffeur, too good. Everyone's involved in that fight here. Right and now Gradin making a move for the top five. Tunde and Tommaso, their rivalry's restarted here. And as Tommaso's up the side of Tunde. Because I'm Miranda that side by side with V before the race lead. The Italian is trying to make a name for himself, and oh boy, he's going to make a name for himself now. Now on the inside he goes to the German. And he actually makes it stick. Good Fascia, move from him, and also ooh, Fascia and Fascia Ching. Very aggressive defense from here. Fascia and Ching are really, really close to each other here. Ching is on the outside line and is slightly ahead and has the better traction. And look at Gradin as well. Gradin in the slip stream of Fascia. Gradin going to try and go around the outside oh, of turn four. Ching no. Made a mistake. The Ching made a mistake, and that cost, that cost Gradin big time. And now they've both lost Ching. positions. They've... They've both like lost three positions. Ching has lost four. I don't know about uh, Gradin here. If he loses this place, he'll have lost three. So here comes Tunde up the inside of Gradin at turn eight. Still side by side on the exit. Gradin actually might pull ahead going into turn nine and does. But Ching went and from third. Oh, it gets worse. Xi Xing has lost his rear wing. At turn nine. And some. it's so easy to miss your breaking point. And rejoins the track of Chauffeur, who's also lost his rear wing. No, he lost it to... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of damage on the got Yeah, but look at this. Wow. Xi yeah. Xing just rammed into by Mortadini. I mean, not really. Mortadini just misjudged the gap. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Space left by Ching, but Mortadini just clipping the rear wing there. Regis has also lost the rear wing. And that's Peter, the courtesy of Peter. No, it's not. Oh, goodness me, look at that. Off. Oh, Huge so contact between like Long and Chauffeur. Is... That is a huge hit. And, and Herbert's took out the wing of... Uh, Herbert's probably taken out Regis, yeah. I mean, that's revenge for what Regis did I mean, to him in, uh, this is in what nature. This is what happens when you have chaos like this. I mean, look at it. It's just... You can hardly see anything. So, back to the front. Viva's still leading this race. Clerk is currently in the top five again. He's currently the only driver from the last race to be in the top five. 
uh, in that race and in this race. Uh, meanwhile, in case of like repeats of people who score points so far, it's Tunde, Tommaso, and that's it. And Clark as well. Uh, yeah, Clark. I, I but remember, only the top eight are scoring points this race. So all contact between Clark and Grannon, and they went in Tunde as well. It's and they're three wide now. And this is the battle for fifth place. Tunde has backed out of it, and now look at this. Uh, Mortadini is also involved as Gradin has got some amazing straight line speed to pull away there. Mortadini has Tunde. pulled clear of Tunde. Tunde dives down the inside of his teammate and Mortadini and has pulled off the move on Mortadini. What about on Clerk? He's ahead going uh, uh, on the exit of the corner and is ahead uh, completely now and cuts in front of and Tunde Clerk. And now. Out of Gradin. Now makes a move on Grad and Tunde, you're not oh. messing about here. Oh my word! That yeah. caught me, that even caught me by surprise. And now Fascia's lost the ring as well. What has happened here? Isaac Fascia was running in a podium place. Makes a move on Tomasa. Oh. Makes a move on Tomasa. Oh no, he's done a Vettel. Oh god. And that's caused a roadblock, and there goes Waltrip into the back of him. So basically, he makes a move on to Tommaso, and I spoke about it. He misjudged. Oh, it. Tom Tommaso's. Yeah, he's. he's him. Wow. And, and that is unfortunate for Grandin. Squeezed by Valcino. Tunde, and especially Clerk, was super lucky because Clerk made contact with his front wing, and he still has it. So basically, Valcino disregards the yellow flag and pushes Waltrip into Fascia. Yep. That, that's, uh, all, all of it is under investigation, I suppose. That will be investigated for sure, because that is a race-defining moment. So all of that has moved Tommaso up into third, Tunde into fourth, Clerk is somehow still fifth. Clerk just survived the carnage that has ensured in here. Oh, Grada yeah, that, that was very close to Mortadini, he's already been in the wars with Ching. Gradin is holding up an enormous train of cars up towards turn 11 where you can't really pass. Look at the amount of cars in the slipstream of each other. As there's a move, as he's actually got back, uh, no sorry that's Aaron, it's not Mortadini. Aaron's on the outside, Aaron's on the inside, the Gradin is absolutely taken from each possible side Sand here. It's kind of left, right and hopefully not the centre. Sand Sandra is just losing time, Valcino makes a big Double break. move from Valcino and Granville, Granville with a double overtake there, lovely move from David on the inside of Valcino and uh, also Gradin, but I mean Gradin's pretty easy to overtake, he's I just mean, a, yeah. she, he's she just has uh, no front wing, but she defends from Vivona very aggressively and from Blanc, look at that, Blanc has lost three places there just from that, and now into the pits, she comes and into the pits as well comes uh, another car, that'll be Fascia without no, the rear wing. Fascia's not coming in. Oh, okay, but something else then. Anyway, we've got a six, we got a five-car battle here between Granville, Valcino, Bishop, Atkinson, and Too good. Then... Too good makes contact with Granville, but now Granville plays the Uno reverse car and tries to get past Ethan, Ethan Bishop as Valcino tries to get past Atkinson as well. And these guys run down towards turn four side by side. Granville's picked up two places here. But now here comes Valcino on Atkinson. Here comes Bishop on Granville. Are we going to be surprised by a car chasing sideways? Not this time around. Granville has held on with Bishop. Valcino oh, runs wide. Oh. Rejoins the track quite dangerously. And Granville had to back out of that one. I mean, that was dangerous. Look at the armor of Granville. Look how inches away from his front wing that. Dear He's done God. really, really good stuff from Granville. If he'd been going at full speed, he would have no doubt hit him. Yeah. You know, both of the damn cars still hoping for some points. Uh, going up the order, there's a Tommaso, Tommaso is trying to take second place here. Pico de la Miranda, the pole man, and has done. Tommaso's taken second place and by the looks of it. One, two for Daikel Team Lazarus. Unbelievable scenes here, and Viva's taken off, so it looks pretty likely they might hold on to that one because Tommaso's pace is incredible. He's soared up the order. And now Ava Valiak is on the back of uh, the two teammates of Clerk and Tunde. Is Atkinson and Valcina running really close to each other? Careful not to lose your front and rear and wings here. Valcina, oh, Valcina. to squeeze through. Not gonna work here. Still side by side though. On and the exit, we've seen it. So it's Thomas. Tunde makes a move on Thomas and takes fourth place, but also opens the floodgates for his teammate. Really good, good play there from the team. The first, as yeah, the first ever Tunde, went, driver. Tunde, Tunde went up the inside and opened the floodgates for his teammate, but it looks like Clark wants more because he's going down the inside of Baba Tunde here. 
Clerk on the inside, and also Thomas is fancying it. So is Ava Valiak. Somehow Tunde comes out on top, and somehow they've all kept the same position. I was thinking Valiak was going to get two places there. Meanwhile, it's an absolute Look traffic jam. Granville here. Absolute traffic jam. Granville has now elevated himself. He was 50, he was 52 laps ago. He's now running in 10th position and can see points ahead of him with Mortadini and Ahrens as Valcino makes a move on Bishop as well. You know, let's Back to the front. Battle, Valcino and Bishop. Valcino tries to make a move, it doesn't quite work. Oh, and he's run wide, and here comes Too Good now. Here comes Too Good on Valcino, but Too Good is suddenly under pressure from Walter. It's absolute chaos. Both of the Rapex drivers having a bit of contact. Yellow flag, and that's Granville. Oh, wide, right, Granville. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, so all his good work has just been undone without a front wing. So he's up. It looks like he has he locked up. Yeah. Yeah, he's locked up, and it, that's weird. He, if he, I tell you what, if he kept turning, he would have not hit the wall. But he kept, he tried to break and turn, locked yeah. up, and went straight into the wall. And that's all his hard work undone. Yeah, a rookie mistake. Meanwhile, so back to the Baba Tunde has Baba Tunde is still behind his teammate Clerk here. These guys do not want to throw away a double points finish. They're both in the top five. They could both see the podium. And Tomas has actually lost the place to pick up the Miranda here. So uh, commentator's curse again. His pace has disappeared. I mean, I, I, I think he wants to let go a bit, you know, focus on uh, cooling down the brakes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if we see the gap ahead, it's it's he could catch him. He could pull a Leclerc. And now he's in the slip chim. You see, turn one is a huge uh, power. But it's, unli it's unlikely. Yeah. And I mean, look, they've got to be careful though, because those two, the guys behind them, are probably within slipstream range. They'll be picking up a little bit of slipstream. Here comes Tommaso on Pico de la Mirandola at turn one. And doesn't quite get past his own. That's a wheel. That was a wheel. That was a wheel on the exit of turn two. Someone has had a crash. We'll keep going for this battle for now. Sorry to interrupt it. Tomas is on the inside still. And turn four. Is he going to push him wide? No, he gives him space. Pico de la Mirandola is just about there, but Tomas is ahead now. Oh, Mirandola tries to delay his brink as much as he can. He's the angle close. made it look like Pico de la Mirandola was further behind than he was. But he's still not been able to get past. But someone has definitely crashed out of this race because that was a stray wheel uh, on the outside of turn Shut two. Up. It's a turn. It's a turn one and two. I saw it. Just is standing up, just before they turned into turn two. Yeah, I couldn't. Sorry see to it. interrupt the battle, but oh yeah, he's out. Lock up. That no, I say that's a brake failure actually. Yeah, look, there was no braking from the car itself. You can into see turn that, one. Boom. You can see that there is no brakes. Just look at the wheels. I don't understand how that wheel has got to turn two though. How was that made? It was it hit by another car? I don't know. No, I think it just bounced. Anyway, Tommaso has now been caught by not one, not two, not three, but four cars now, stretching all the way back to Ava Valiak, and soon Mortadini is going to be in the on, in on the act. And Aaron's, and it's just going to be one big train with three laps to go. Clerk is fancying a move on Pico de Miranda in the Trident car, the orange, blue, and white car. Is he going to be able to hold onto the podium place? We've got two laps to go after this one. And Tommaso, this is his chance to pull away. He has to do it. Otherwise, if he loses one place, as we saw with Xing, he might lose two or three or even four and or even more than that. Wing. And here comes Clerk. Tunde got past. Uh, Tunde, Clark, Tunde plays the Uno reverse card, though. He pulls a Raikkonen at Hockenheim, and he's actually gone from defending a position to, well, trying to get one. And he's alongside Pico de la Miranda. This is for the podium places. And I believe Tunde would become the first ever African to get a podium in MMS. But look at the speed that Valiak had going into there. Oh, Clark comes... makes a mistake. Clark runs wide. Less grip there. Tunde oh. gets past. Clark gets past. Double move from the teammates once again. These guys are the masters of choreography. Oh, and now Tunde... An issue for Tunde. Tunde had a really bad exit for some reason. And now Clark's taking the place. Pico de la Miranda is going to probably take the place here. He does. Tunde slips down to fifth. But what happened there? He was on the exit of the corner. Did he have a tank Ooh, slap or something? Like has an issue. Oh, like the huge issue. Or just broke really early. I don't know. No, but no, just... no. She was stuck in third gear. Oh, okay. She's like still holding go. down the position. Peter De Laurent has a really bad corner. Tunde trying to go around the outside now. Here comes Tunde. Can he get past? He's on the outside. It. It's so difficult at this He's corner. He do can't it. do it. Oh, Aaron and Thomas. Aaron and Thomas. Contact Mortadini. between the Mortadini and Valiak also make contact. Mortadini is up into 8th eighth, eighth place now. 
Mondragon has somehow come back Ooh. despite the, the mishap at the front. Racing he could be an versus Herbert. So Ching and Granville are two teammates here. Ching going down the inside of Herbert and also Granville backs out of it. Probably wisely because those guys have already uh, lo both lost front wings at some point. Meanwhile, Weber is coasting off and is about to start the final lap of this frantic sprint race. But all these positions here are not Whoa. secure as there goes more to team. There goes off. Epic car control from Ava Valk. Epic car control from Ava Valk. You went up onto two wheels. Let's see a replay of this. It reminds me of Button and uh, Verline at Monaco in 2017. Look at this. Oh, it goes awesome up the guy. inside. He misjudged Valiac's racing line, and look at that. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Montezini would have made the corner, I think, but just had to didn't acknowledge that Valiac also existed yeah. in that moment of time. White flag is shown as the final lap. It's the final lap of the sprint race, final lap of the day, I can finally say that. <laughs> and now Mortadini on the inside of Valiac. Valiac later oh, on the brakes, runs really wide, locks up. And is that the points gone for Ava yeah, Valiac? She's lost a place gone. to Falcino oh. now, it's probably it. That's as it. the two Dams Red Bull cars. Red Bull Dams are not going to score a single point as, as it stands. I mean, despite having going into this, so going into this race, yeah, Going into this race as the favourites due to their funding. Pretty surprising stuff. Skill. Anyway, look, to, look, at the, look ahead, the Pico de la Mirandola and Tunde are harassing the back of Clerk for a podium place. Tommaso looks pretty set in second, and even more so Vibas looks... But look at this, these guys... Oh, Tunde's Tunde up the inside! Contact. They make contact! Tunde goes up the inside! He gives the position back to... A bit graciously, graciously, a bit graciously backs off, despite making contact with him. They're still side by side, Tunde's still on the inside, but he's not alongside anymore. He dives it down oh, the inside! Contact. Again! Huge crunch of contact between the wheels and the front wings. Tunde now on the outside of Pico de la Mirandola. He Can he get past the here? Inside, I think. Make sure you cut to the front to not miss Viva crossing the line. Ooh, oh, he's all right! It's over! It's Tunde's over. taken fourth, but at the front, it's going to be Weber who rounds the final corner. And Weber e exits the final corner now. He is going to take victory in the sprint race and propel himself up the championship. And, or not. and not only that, it's, it's a 1-2 for the team. And across the line in third and fourth, Clark and Tunde, the two teammates, fifth goes to Thomas, and who's going to get seventh? It's bigger than Oh that. my goodness. Morty Dini loses out, but he's still in points. Then we have Valcino, Valiak, Waltrip, Tugud, Bishop, Ankinson, Bivona, Mondrag. Mondrag, a great recovery up to 16th. Yeah, but he will still lead in the championship. Uh, fastest lap, fastest lap. I remember now. Mondragon of the fastest lap. Mondragon with 139.6. That is really quick. I mean, he had clean air for the majority of the race, but it looks a bit. Ferros now says the fastest. Oh, Ferros sets the fastest lap on the last lap. Granin does not set it. It's like a qualifying yeah. session. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these guys have rounded off the race. This is the only thing they can do now in theory. Yeah. For one minute forty-two. Room. Less said about that lap, the better. But yeah. Yeah, and then we have the final cars crossing the line. We only had one retiree this race. So Ferris fastest lap. Mark it in your notebooks, kids. And there's Viba. The Victor. Driver of the race? Well, um, I'm not sure. Because, I mean, again, Viba dominated the race, but Tommaso, where did he start? Uh, oh, I don't know. It must have been, it was pretty low down the order, I think. And also, I mean, I obviously Viba and Tommaso stand out. They finished 1 2. I'd probably give it to Tommaso, purely because I don't know where anyone else was. <laughs> I mean, Aaron's did well. Curry Thomas scores his first points, you know. It's, but it's... Tommaso put some really good moves on yeah. other drivers. I mean, But remember, Gianfranco Mortadini's eighth position might not be secure because he did punt Xixing out of this race exactly. on lap two or lap three. So his gap, well, he was... He was just uh, he was just under two seconds clear of Valcino behind, so Valcino might well move up into the points. We'll have to uh, wait for the Stewart's decision on that one, but for now he's got himself a point. Yep. So uh, for me, I'm gonna agree with you. It's gonna be one of them is definitely going to be Tommaso. I mean, I'd say Tommaso probably driver of the of the day. I mean, yeah, he climbed up some positions quite a lot and showed his pace. 
as I'm losing the ability to speak. Yeah, so I think that's it. Uh, the FIA are going to go on the review now to get the penalties sorted, etc. Um, yeah, thanks for watching the first ever, the inaugural race of Formula Junior. Uh, see you next time in, uh, in Laws It's Ring. And that's it from us. Anything you want to add, uh, James? No, apart from tune in next time, because after this racing, you do not want to miss it. Yep. Remember to be safe on the roads and wear your seatbelt. Bye-bye.